Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about the common problems on a BMW F01. This is a 2010, a 750i. I'm going to focus on the problems that I had with this BMW, problems that I had repaired. But still, I'm going to mention some of the other problems that this BMW has. I'm going to start with the engine. The problem that I have with this engine is oil consumption. I haven't repaired this problem yet. Every 750 miles I need to add oil to the engine. BMW claims then the piston rings are letting oil go through the custom combustion chamber. In the past, BMW did a recall on the N63 engine to replace the piston rings do uh, oil consumption. Now, the other reason why my BMW is eating oil, I think is a bad valve steam seal that is leaking and is letting oil go to the combustion chamber or to the exhaust. So to repair this problem, I need to replace all the valve steam seals now, the other problem with the N63 engine is the fuel economy. This BMW uh, with the N63 engine twin turbo has a really bad fuel economy. I will recommend to drive your BMW in a comfort mode and to drive it as smooth as possible to get the best fuel economy possible. Now I'm going to talk about the transmission on my BMW 750i. I have no problems with this BMW transmission. This is a 6-speed aromatic transmission. Still there are some other common problems that people mention and I'm going to mention it next. Um, I'm going to recommend to replace the transmission oil every 50 or 80,000 miles to improve the life of your transmission. Especially if you drive the BMW every day. Service the transmission often enough so you prevent any premature damage to the transmission. Now I'm going to talk about my differential. I have no problems with this differential, but still other people mention problems with this differential and I'm going to mention them next. I'm going to continue by talking about the frame components, the chassis components. I replace the two front control arms on this BMW because they were giving me some problems like when you stop you feel your steering wheel move to one side to the left or to the right and when you go in a high speed you feel vibration on your steering wheel now I'm going to talk about the brakes my steering wheel was shaking when I was pressing the brake on a high speed. The reason why this was happening is because of uneven wear of the brake pads. And this was happening because of bad pins, bad lubrication with the pins. To repair this problem, you need to replace the brake pads and uh, install the brake, uh, brake caliper pins with a high temperature grease or silicone based grease. Now I wanna talk about the steering wheel vibration. When you go in a bad road, your steering wheel tends to vibrate. You need to go in a really, really uh, smooth area to don't feel any vibration on your steering wheel. So the vibration happens when you are driving in a bad road like this one, as you can see, this is a bad road. You can clearly see the steering wheel move like you can see right now. 
So that's the only problem when you drive in this car on a bad road, you feel vibrations in the steering wheel, which is normal in this case. Now, driving in a smoother road, uh, at the same speed we were driving in a bad road, there is no vibration in the steering wheel. The vibration only happens when you are driving in a bad road, mostly. Uh, if you're going in a higher speed, you may feel a little more, but it's not very bad. It's just gonna feel a small vibration in the steering wheel, but other than that, everything is fine. Now I'm going to talk about the interior of the BMW. The problem that I have with this BMW is the door, this door, the passenger front, when you are driving and you have the automatic locking when you drive your car and then when you stop and you are want to go to exit the vehicle this door doesn't unlock so you have to actually use the switch the unlocking switch to unlock that door so to cancel that problem you need to use your hard drive and cancel the a feature of locking and unlocking automatically when you are driving the vehicle. Now I'm going to talk about the battery. The problem that I had with this BMW was a message coming on my dashboard and my hard drive saying increase battery discharge. To fix this problem, I needed to repair and replace the battery. And that was the solution of my problem. If replacing the battery doesn't fix your problem, you may have problems with your IBS sensor, which means intelligent battery sensor, which is located on the battery. Now the other problem I'm going to talk about, and it's gonna be the last one, is not a spare tire on your trunk. This is a problem because if you drive really long distance and you go flat in your way there, you may be on a risk to stuck there so you actually need to have a really good roadside assistance who can help you on that kind of situations so this is pretty much all the problems i'm going to talk about my bmw there are some other problems but all the problems gonna come to you depending how you drive your bmw and how you maintain it if you give good maintenance to your bmw you will not have no problems with your BMW. So thank you very much for your time and have a great day.